Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, and I am reviewing another Marvel Legends Build a Figure Okoye series Submariner. I am not excited for this figure at all. I, I am not. Maybe it's me, and Submariner has just been one of those characters I've never really liked. But I had to buy him because I got to get a Koye, and I'm left underwhelmed. I mean, yes, a lot of people wanted a Namor in his green tights to replace that one that came way back when in a Fantastic Four wave. It sucked. It absolutely sucked. And I think I still have that figure somewhere around here, but I'm not going to pull it out. I'm just not, because I don't care. But let's go ahead and review the, you know, jerk of the sea. This he is. He's, I like nothing about Namor's character. My buddy Sean really wanted that character. I didn't. So build a figure of Koye. You got a trident right here. Nice. That blue emboss. Legend series. Submariner. I do love his text. Submariner. That, that's great. You got some uh, artwork on the side. Not too bad there. Some more. And on the back you see old Namor with incredible strength and swimming speed. Submariner is a powerful force on land and sea. He's a jerk. He really is. And there are some of the other figures you get in the line. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. He's the fifth figure. And yeah, he comes with parts to make Okoye, which we will get to. Anyway, let me just... So, I mean, is it a good figure? Sure. Sure, it's a good figure, I guess. Um, looking at Namor's visage here. Very Spockish, very plain. There's his pointed ears and the hair looks real nice, uh, good paint apps on that. Going around. Got the musculature and he, he, this part bothers me because it looks like he's supposed to have those those nice butterfly joints, but he doesn't. You got the uh, the gold bands here. Paint's clean on them. Uh, the paint on the belt, not so clean, although it is a scaly uh, brief that he's wearing. I would like rub my finger across there, but I'm not going to do it. You got a little seashell right there. Like I said, you got the paint apps, kind of kind of sloppy a little bit. And it, it's going to reflect that I really didn't care about this. There's the fish butt. Got a little stamp there, uh, double jointed. Uh, cut right here that doesn't seem to quite match up. You know, the, the calf cut doesn't seem to match all the way through. And then you have his, his wings, these, these wings. Mine has a little bit of a QC issue. Looks like this wasn't pressed in all the way before it was... Um, before it was set, you got his bare feet, peg holes, and you know, you got easy as arch. But there's not much to this figure. I mean, he, he does look good as far as a Namor figure in the uh, little scaly briefs. I, I mean, from what I've read of Namor, I absolutely hate the briefs. I do. I do. Now, he does come with some accessories. Is this my camera? A little bit. Um, you get two open hands for swimming action. Ooh. And they are articulated. Um, you just pop those in and out as such. And there you go. And he can either, you know, swim or he can give you the smack. I will swim. What? What? Bam! Oh! And yeah. Most entertaining about this figure is he comes with... He comes with slap the crap out of your hands. He also comes with an a alternate head sculpt because... You know, everyone has to have that bearded Namor from the 90s, you know, that one where he was on the streets or whatever. I don't, I don't know. You can pop that on. There you go. Yeah, that looks better than the, uh, the regular head, I guess. With this pointy little wannabe Wolverine haircut. He also comes with his trident, which is uh, actually this is very cool. The one that, came, that had the Walgreens that came with the Walgreens exclusive that was just Odin spear redone. I like how this looks. It's a nice gold plastic, and it it it's very reminiscent of something you would find from the depth. Got a little bit of scaly kind of uh, eel or sea snake work going on there. Got a little uh, tip at the end here. Very nice job on this. Uh, he can hold it in either hand. It fits right in this uh, little area here. So you can just put his fingers through there and kind of slip his thumb past and get his thumb past. There you go. Put his hand, other hand up here. Oh, that's right. 
I can't put my other hand on this one because um, this. The thumb and forefinger are uh, close together. I'll take a razor blade and cut that out. I wanted to keep that to show you. Mine has a QC issue. But, you know, it does look good in his hand. It's very original, not just a, just a simple trident. I know I've seen that design, too, in some comics. So, yeah, I, I, I like the trident. I mean, it is a good figure. I just don't really care, but I had to get him. Now, as far as articulation, you've got the peg in the foot, so you can get some roundabout there. That can go back. It does touch the wings here. Got a cut at the calf. Kind of a loose cut, but you can see like it, <laughs> you move that and it's just not going to look good. So, you know, you got to keep them together. Double jointed knees. Go about that far. Not too bad. Swivel at thigh. The legs will go about that far out. Go forward about that far. Actually, you can get pretty good far. Pretty, pretty good far. Pretty good far, Jasonisms, guys. Um, a pretty good range towards the front with the leg here. Back, articulation at the waist. It is not ratcheted. Soft ratchet going down, but it's got a, it's got a soft one here, but arms will make a full 360. Universal drawing to go that far out. Twist at the bicep, double jointed elbows. Got a rotation at the wrist. That will go back and forth. And the head can go pretty far up for some uh, swimming poses and whatnot. You can put those hands on there and, you know, make them swim. Swim, fish boy, swim. You know. Anyway, I, I know. I, I'm never big on ocean heroes or whatever, even though they control most of the ocean, it seems huge, I should respect them, but I, I just don't get Aquaman, Aquaman and Submariner had a fight in the Marvel vs. DC comic couple years ago, couldn't care less, now here he is with the Walgreens exclusive name war, I actually like this costume better, you see there are some reused parts, of course the wings and the arms are definitely reused, but the head sculpts are different, so I'll give him credit on that, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I, yeah, it's all the way down to his navel with this V-70s thing that he's wearing. But uh, I, I like this better than that one. And he's a little bit wider than this guy is. But yeah, he's got the collar. I'm trying to do this more often, but you can see the figure comes in at about six and just at a half inches. So final thoughts on this guy. Is he a good figure? Yes, he's a good figure. A few paint apps, none of them are perfect. It's just a figure I didn't want, but I needed him to get the build a figure. And that just kind of takes away from him a little bit. That takes away from him a little bit more just because I really didn't didn't want this guy. But I've got my Okoye, so you know, we'll get to that later on in the week. Uh, hopefully before Black Panther comes out on Friday, I'll have all of them reviewed. But in the meantime, guys, like this video, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Make sure you check it out. Uh, give me a comment below. What do you guys think of this figure? And until next time, I'll catch you later.